big build, okay. Well, relatively compared to everything else. This is our view now. I think it's a pretty good view. I've, I've done my best to kind of block off our view of Impulse and also of Skiz's area and it kind of frames my area a little more. This was very inspired by Grian having this structure right here. Right, Grian's got a plan for a big build that basically connects into my skull. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna balance that on the other side with like a, another big build and then this will frame the skull really well, hopefully. Um, we can look at it from Skiz's side. Obviously, I'm encroaching on Skiz's territory quite a lot, but he's still got all of this area over here if he wants it as well. And I did ask him before I did it. Regular Dude Jack, thank you for the gifteds. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think even from Skiz's area over here, that frames things nicely. And it doesn't, it doesn't get too close. Like, if his path is gonna come right here from his starter base and his pyramid is even over a bit from that. So that should be fine. You're running out of space, I know, <laughs> I know. That's one of the reasons that I did this is because I, I need to make sure I claim a little bit of space on the side next to the mountain. Cause I do have, it's a very narrow piece of land that I have here. See, this is, this is green and then yeah, that's, that little edge is me. So it's, it's a tiny piece of land, but we're going to work with it and terraform it and do all the things. I like the palm trees. I've like given them a gradient. Don't know if we like that. Kind of inspired by Corallus, who's doing some very tall palm trees at his base as well. Um, so I wanted to, I wanted to also do some. I just, I, I really like how this is framed. I think, I think the skull being framed is really lovely. I, I also really enjoyed that it blocks off the view of the cyber city. Uh, I think it's good to not be able to see everything. Like, I want you to not be able to see impulse space, except for when you go right through here, then you get glimpses of it. That very um, forced, Forcing that perspective so when you come through here, it all opens up a bit more. And then the same on this side, you can't see Grian's base. And then as you come through here, obviously you, you get the view of his base. Closes things in a little bit more. Uh, there are spoilers, yes. Stream, stream title. Stream title says spoilers. Um, missing some more things. Acker Lake, thank you for the two months. Shark bait. 34 months, 35 total, that's crazy. Almost three years. Thank you, human pork rind, thank you for the five months. Um, Prince, thank you for the tier one. I am Woody, thank you for the 100 bits. Paul, thank you for the tier one. Narnia, thank you for the six months. Thank you, everybody. Uh, is that the back of Grian's building? This is my building. This is, this is Grian's building. Although at the moment it's just an outline. So, we have work to do, everybody. I think we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, I don't even, I, I literally, I don't even know. I, do, I don't even know what I don't know. We're gonna have to start detailing things. Particularly like adding windows, adding doors, adding like maybe a chimney, adding, Fixing the texturing that is really like samey in a lot of spots. And just just generally fixing all of the things. We gotta make sure that we make it look good from this side as well. So obviously Skiz now has to stare at this. <laughs> and it is gonna look a little bit who Tango? <laughs> oh, Tango spoilers over there. I didn't even notice. Better not zoom in too much. Thing goes hard at work. So this, um, for those of you who have played the game Dredge that I'm kind of referencing, this is my collector's house. So it's a bit darker in theme to match Skiz, as you can see. Uh, that, and that, and that, and that. I kind of match Skiz a bit, but then I've also used the nether brick, which I think 
looks really good for the collectors. Who I, I looked at the collector's house in Dredge, but I didn't try to copy it. I was just like, I'll take the general colors and then I have to fit the shape of the build into the terrain that we have. Like, I can't just plop the exact same build there. It, it won't necessarily look great. This is exciting though. Okay, I need to start replay mod. There we go. First thing we're gonna do is work on that texturing in the tough in the back, I think. And then maybe, maybe we also do some moss here. I need this. Like, is there a world where there's clumps of moss look good in this? Sure, maybe. I think it's gotta be pretty big clumps. Amazing, Ethereal. Good luck on your assignments. And then maybe we can. No, oh, that's voice settings. And maybe we can also add in just some normal bricks. I don't know, it just feels like there's a lot of mossy happening right now. I'm depending on you guys to help me uh, texture things out a little bit. Hmm, I need this. Fix all these little imperfections. When I'm making time lapses, I tend to be quite lazy. I don't do all of these little extra extra bits. That can't be... Okay, that's gonna have to stay. Um, I'll have to put a full black stone there. I want to find a place for a chimney as well. And also, very importantly, some of this is a bit too coral and not enough well, anything else, really. Like, the music sounds good. Is the music too loud, everybody? That's definitely always a possibility. Sometimes I am do a poor job of paying attention to how loud things get. I bet! That can, that can be fixed. What about now? Is that a bit better? There's a ping in the Hermitcraft. Impulse is cancelling our meeting. How nice of him. <laughs> That looks better. I'm not sure what to do with this roof. I feel that this needs... I don't... I don't know what it needs. This whole thing... Needs something. I think to connect this and this together... Some kind of hole here with like a line between them. Maybe it's electricity, maybe it's something else, maybe it's just banners. But like the height of this diagonal is completely buried by that bush, which is intentional. But still, I just think that it would look a bit better, a little bit more connected. Maybe. We can try some slabs. Let's grab some slabs. Mm, probably want to keep the moss on me. Let's get rid of the coral. And we are going to want some more of those. Yeah, let's try this blackstone. I 
I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to get the creepy vibe that I want here. That is something I'm a little concerned about. This is not really an inherently creepy build at the moment. It's pretty ordinary. That's got to sag a bunch more. Putting candles, that's an interior detail, I think. I think hanging signs are definitely a good shout. Let's just see if that added anything. I think it's positioned a little bit wrong. Yeah. I like something being there, but that's not it. Gonna go get some rockets soon too. Cobwebs, yeah. I think it's a little bit too like direct. I want this to feel creepy because of larger details rather than like it's creepy because there's spiders. That's a little too like Halloween. It's gotta be a bit more subtle. It's gonna be a hard, it's gonna be a difficult thing to achieve, I think. Um, should we do this along here? spooky sound effects definitely I think I want when you walk through here it might drive skiz nuts <laughs> but I think I want when you walk through here to have a sound go off we could maybe do a tripwire just so that it's not going off all the time but a tripwire might be pretty visual I, which I don't I don't know if I want that I'm not sure I'm bad at knowing what I want okay hold on you there. Skulk sensor? That's what I have over here. Is a skulk sensor. But there's no actual door over there to sense. Like, listen, this one might be pretty quiet, but it's just always going off. Like, that, that sensor is just always going off. And there's nothing to calibrate it to in that archway because we're just walking through. Check the player with Skulk plus Shrieker. Mm, yeah, that's an idea. I don't have a Shrieker. Is anybody selling Shriekers? In that same vein, I think Skulk and Skulk veins are something that I really need for details that I just don't have yet. I don't want a randomizer. I want it to happen every single time a player goes through here. I don't want it just randomly going off when when you're not walking through. Tango selling skulk or is supposed to sell skulk? Game sounds a little quiet. I can up that. Hold on. Is that louder? Let's, I'll go open a chest. Hold on. Louder. I think I have music. This just might be low. Yeah, music discs are kind of low. Better? Okay. Okay, let's get some windows in this place. That'll be a good spot to start. Let me get rid of Wavelink. Go away. Let's 
do a window here and a window here. Let's do that. There'll definitely be a floor of some form here. Not sure exactly what that'll be. And then we have to decide what we're doing the details out of that goes with the dark oak. I think maybe spruce, pretty neutral and standard, but spruce, because we're already using so much dark oak. I think if I keep going with that, it'll be too much contrast with the white. Let's just get rid of that for a second. I also want some hanging signs. I don't have very much iron on me. Let me grab some. IRL scaffolding on building? Ah, uh, I know what you mean, but I don't think so. I want the buildings to be done. They're, they're old buildings. They're long finished construction. Mm, what do I have? I have mangrove hanging signs. That's pretty good. I like levers to detail with. I do need more scaffolding. More of that. Um, more dark oak is always good. More spruce is always good. And then some iron. I have lots of, thankfully, because I steal from Impulse and Tango all the time. We also have these heads, which we can detail with eventually. Mm, not a lot else going on. Dripstone in the alleyway could look cool. Dripstone's the wrong color, I think. We do need to add some stairs or slabs to this alley. I feel like we could almost gradient this as well. Hold on. Let's try. I think I have all the gradient things on me. Me detailing, this is why I'm streaming it. Me detailing is just me jumping from thing to thing with no regard for like, staying consistent for the audience's sake. I suck at recording details because I'm just like jumping from thing to thing. Let's try this. And then we do... I think this could do a pretty good job of breaking up a lot of these bricks. I wish there was a way to smoother transition from this dark gray into green. I really want this to be mossy and overgrown, but this color just doesn't have a green that goes with it. Like you can overlay vines. The vines are stupid. I hate working with vines. Let's grab one and just let it spread and see what it does. That does look better. Polish tough. Mm. I don't think tough goes with that color. Tough is more... Tough does make it into this gradient, but not until like the top. Tough works with this. I want like a black that has green in it. Mud, maybe mud, mud might, mud might be a good shout. Um, what else was I doing? Texturing the back of this. Kind of got distracted when I looked at it and was like, oh, that's a lot of, that's a lot of brick still. Muddy roots. Muddy roots are brown. I might be being too picky. What are you doing? We are detailing. Welcome. Welcome. 
I would love if Mossy Deep Slate existed. <laughs> I know it probably doesn't make sense for their world gen, but you should just be allowed to add moss to anything. Pixie Dragon, thank you for the 10 months, by the way. And Flutterdash, thank you for the raid. And thank you for the primes, everybody who primed recently, my goodness. And Electric Sheep for the 100 bits. Mossy and crystals, yeah, 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 exactly. Mossy everything. Okay, I was adding details up there. Let's, let's carry on. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Mossy Kelsite would be amazing, Daphnis. That's so true. I would love that. This music is so relaxing. Glow lichen instead of vines. Yeah, but then it then it glows. <laughs> then we're losing the darkness. It is a good idea. It's a good color. It just glows. Okay. Mm I don't know exactly how I want to do this. I feel like I almost want hanging signs off of like edges or maybe banners. Tough has a bit of a greenish hue to it. It does, it does, but tough is not dark enough. Tough is not as dark as blackstone. Um, you have to transition a lot further to get to to get to tough. I am I've I've used a ton of tough. There's tough right there. I do like the tough next to it. But it's not as dark as as what I've been going for. Okay. Maybe some fences up here. Did I put down the crafting table for real? Silly. Fences and fence gates. Yeah. And then also perhaps some trap doors. Black concrete better, that's not green. Now you're just naming stuff. <laughs> Sometimes detailing with a chat is is funny. The people who are half listening start just naming blocks. Um There we go. Copper bulb. <laughs> yes. Chat. Those do exist. But I, I don't know what relevance they have in this particular part of the build right now. Which is copper bulb. Copper bulb. <laughs> yeah, good job, chat. Good job. You're on it. Dragon head? I would love a dragon head in this build somewhere. We actually should, unironically, we should put a dragon head somewhere. Oh, I also, I want dark oak. This song, this song is creepy as heck. What is this song? Story of a thief. Um. Shoot. I need much bigger inventories. It does fit the vibe. I should use this song in my episodes more. I don't like what I've done with the window. That looks silly. It's too thin. Like we could maybe cover it like that, but I think it'll it'll always be a bit too thin. 
I also think um, there's a world where we surround the edge of this in slabs. We maybe do that. Maybe. And then maybe... Where's the middle? This window's the middle. Okay. Let's try again. Take two. Don't let Scar see the scaffolding? What's Scar gonna do? I ain't scared. Scared of Scar? Maybe red. Maybe mangrove here. Yeah. Whoop. <laughs> Scar's not scary, chat. slab I think but let's see if I like it with red and then if I do like that um, what is the option here these are such awkward little windows I think the option is probably this and then just leave the window open maybe we try it. We fly away and we, we take a look. I don't want to over overdo it either. Let's sleep. Who's online? Just Exuma. Exuma is anti-sleep, apparently. Or is just busy, like me. X is live. He is not using his status mod. Come on, Exuma. Does that look good, you think? Does the red does the red go or not go? I think I think the red could be Do you know what? If we had ow. If we had crimson the red could be crimson. I think crimson. Purple. Purple would look good with all the green. Is crimson for sale yet in the shopping district? Is it for sale for diamonds? Because I'm not, I'm not contributing sand. Yeah? Okay, we could go get some. Oh, baby zombie. Hello? Hey, dude. You just hanging out? Okay. Let's go get that then. I'm still a little torn on that build, I have to admit. It doesn't go with that, but I think it will eventually. We'll be able to bridge the gap. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Let's go to shop. I didn't bring any diamonds. I hope they have ender chests. Look at Coralis's trees. They're so realistic. Mine are not realistic. They're mine are too leafy to be realistic. Four diamonds per stack. That's actually really good. Where's the ender chest? Um, four diamonds per stack. Four diamonds per stack. That feels kind of cheap. Is that not cheap? That 
That feels cheap. My god. We're good. We're good. Um, I tried to buy nether bricks from Wells. Wells' shops are so expensive. I bought these. I bought three stacks. And then I got the rest off of Impulse. Because five diamonds per stack. You can auto farm those. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't doing that. Check my clay. I shall. None sold. We're good. Nothing has sold recently. Woo. Pluto's still there. Who's setting out fireworks? It's because the mangrove is going for a diamond block, but that's expensive. Yeah, but he keeps selling out, so that one makes sense. Cub shot, right? Fireworks. I love Impulse's city. Um, let's put everything's full. Try the purple. We may not even like this. I just think that it goes with the nether. No, stupid mushroom. No! <laughs> stupid mushroom. Raid! Martin! Hi, raiders! Welcome to Hermitcraft! Martin, I hope you had a good stream. Thank you for the raid. Is my raid notification not working? I didn't hear anything come with that. Why isn't that working? Hello, raiders. Um, we're, we're doing a little detailing of the base. Ooh, yeah, I like the purple. I like the purple better than the red. I've just decided. <laughs> It looks really- purple goes really well with green. It looks super good. <laughs> That's perfect. Now we can also use some of the crimson to highlight some of those nether brick grooves that are just a bit plain. I think I should also- I, I still- something needs to be added here. And maybe it is just- maybe it's just another build. Is it just another build? Maybe it's... Hold on. Okay. Listen. It's not a chest monster. We need this. Because... I was a little preemptive on some of these detail -y bits. Eh, I might need that. There we go. Need bushes? That's true. They'll be last, though. I do have spots picked out where I want to put moss. Like that spot right there. Like, I want to put some, like, copper. Like, the, the roof is kind of eroding. If that makes sense. Let's get rid of that. And... up here so i was thinking of doing another tower over here originally and then like connecting the two towers but i'm also thinking we can probably just we could probably just continue upwards another layer no no no, no, no. not there though in one like here
Let's just do one side and see if we hate it. <laughs> we might hate it. Solid chance that we hate it. It gets rid of a lot of the copper, but I, I, that might be okay. We're just experimenting. Trial and error. Lots of errors. Emphasis on error. It's not the worst. The roof needs a lot of help. I, did, I think it needed to be taller. I think that helps. We'll, we'll messy up the white with the mushroom stem and put windows. Not sure about the bone block. I think the build has to be white. The collector's house is like white with like a purplish roof. And also Skiz is transitioning up to lighter colors. I, I assume he's going towards white. I suppose that's not a given, he may not be, but I think that this will stand out more from that if it's white. Bird poop, get some diorite. Could do. I think I like that. It scales, it scales better with the rest of the build. So let's do the other side and make sure that we also like it from the other side. Goofy song? Yeah, this is a weird song to have on right now, isn't it? It's like the blooper song. Mm, is that how tall? Probably. Spoilers. Yeah, the spoiler is what we're building. This whole thing is a spoiler. I bought a ton of this mushroom stem off of Grian. It's a pretty good block. I had a little bit. I had one stack. Let's put some light in here. Also, if we want to make it a bit messier, we can go uh, birch. Birch wood goes really well with bone block, as much as everybody hates to admit that. It's true. Mm, okay, and then I guess we're going up immediately. Should be fine. There we go. Birch is overheated. It is. Birch looks fine. It's how you use it. It's the, it's that's true for every block. It's it's purely just how you use it. I think that looks good. I think that looks really good. I do definitely need a chimney. Maybe tough brick for the chimney. When does this video come out? I have no idea. Maybe tomorrow. I have no idea though. Depends how soon I can get it done. <laughs> No. Is Newfoundland cold this time of year? It's very cold today. It's like almost snowing. The dog didn't even want to go outside this morning. <laughs> I have a heated blanket on. 
building this for a video? Yes, we're recording with replay mod right now. I want a chimney. I think I want it right there. I think. Go up. Up some more. Okay. Need more chimney blocks. Let's see if this looks good though. Yeah, I like the tough brick. I think we can probably transition it to regular tough. I need to organize. I need to organize so badly. This is rough. See habits, 17 months. Thank you, thank you. And 27 months from Lil, thank you as well. And Sarah with 200 bits. Oh my goodness, I missed so many of these. Flooded with the tier one as well. Effie, 14 months. Paisley, 19 months. Jeez, thank you everybody. Thank you for all the subs. <laughs> Sparks Cat, thank you for the nine months. Pixie Dragon for 10 months. Pirate for two months. Mrs. Sniper Frog for three months. I'm gonna miss some of these. Serb for the nine months. Epic Mutton Chops with 47 months. Human pork rind with five months. Jeez. Thank you, everybody. Up. I don't know if the chimney should be crooked or if it should just, um, Stay like this. Also, don't think it should be much taller than that. This is a good height. Let's grab this. That might be good. I like the existence of that chimney. Crooked could be fun. It could be. I think that looks good though. Yeah, it needs smoke. Should I do glass smoke or campfires? I feel like that just frames that that spot good. I'm I'm hesitant to make it crooked because I'm worried that it's gonna cross with the trees or like with the roof line. A lot of people saying glass. Okay, we'll wait on that then because that's not urgent. We'll add glass to it a bit later. Let's finish what we were doing with that roof. I'm gonna hate myself in replay mod when I'm doing this later because I'm jumping around so much. Let's grab that, and we also needed a bunch of blackstone. This will do. Skill issue.
Looks pretty good. Um, and we're gonna need more dark oak slabs or stairs, I mean. where I want the rest of the windows and stuff to go. I don't know if I want windows in that. Maybe not. I have decisions to make. I like the way that looks though, I think. This is a good song. Yeah, that's already looking way better compared to when we started. I think it needs something right here to block off that. Hold on. I think I have just the thing. Dark oak. It's over here. I need more tough. I'm constantly out of tough. Don't even understand how it's possible to be this out of tough. Um, just right here. Let's try a tower here. I'm just noticing that there's no white on this side. I'm doing a poor job of explaining my process here, but there's, when I came back here and looked at it, I was like, this is a really good line of like white things with a little bit of that jungle wood mixed in. And I think to balance it, like one more little spot of the white over here would help. And also the shape, it kind of needs something right there as well. So that is why I'm creating this tower. So we also want to block this off fully. And we should fill this in. And we should put a torch in it. Dark. Scars on. Don't know exactly how tall to make this. Something that I'm trying to do while doing this is have all of my roof lines be in a different, slightly different position. Yeah. When is Magical Mountain having a meeting about plans to make connections to the bases? I don't know. I don't know. I imagine um, right now, a lot of people are trying to just like get back from the charity event and like get videos done. I expect there'll be a point afterwards where we'll want to. Mm. 
Sorry, checking Discord to see Skiz saying that uh, we were right. Oh, I love that. I love being right. <laughs> we were recording with Skiz yesterday. It was really fun. I think I'm going to put it in my video as well, the recording I did with Skiz. Look, I don't get to see Skiz as much as I would like to because our he tends to get on very late in his time zone because of real life work. Then I end up missing him. Do I want that? What is the roof color gonna be? Oh. Mm, let's go with purple. Let's go with purple. Nether. And let's do this. So I haven't decided the paint color? No, I decided. I just haven't had a chance to paint. I don't know <laughs> how many of you here actually know about the charity event that we did, but I traveled. And it took like, took like two weeks really it was like 10 days of travel for me but then the prep before and after and even just doing the vr video for um real life that we did the third life series everything's taking a lot of time so yeah no painting no painting i'll get time to paint eventually i'm sure probably Let's try this. It might look silly, but we're gonna try it anyway. I think slabs. Or stairs. I should probably get a stone cutter going. Probably should have got a stone cutter going like ages ago. I should make all of those stairs. Yeah, it looks good, chat. Lighthouse. That looks good. That helped. I feel like building like this is just adding, adding little singular tiny structures until it all collectively comes together and makes one big structure. That looks good. That added a lot. Obviously, it needs it needs more, but it added a lot. I, I see the potential. Land. And I think there's going to be a window. Maybe with some lights in it. Maybe like shrimp lights. Do I have shrimp lights, I wonder? I have so much random stuff. What do I have in all these? Oh, I do have some mud. It's a little late for that, but I do have some. I have three. That's like exactly what I need. Is anybody selling shroom lights? Do we know? Cause, uh, no offense to Etho, but his frog lights are much too neon. I need shroom lights. Etho is selling shroom lights? Not just frog lights? Shroom, these, orange. Not shroom, yeah. I've, I didn't think that he was selling shroom. I could be wrong though.
Go raid Joel's base. Yeah, but who's selling them? Come on, you guys are you guys are chat. You guys know things, right? You know who has the permits. This is what I depend on you for. You're like insane spreadsheets and stuff. Yep. <laughs> it's impulse or hypno? Permit is owned by Tango? Tango? That's not an answer. Hi. He just says hi. Shroom lights will be sold someday. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need shroom lights for the, for the skull eyes too. I think the orange is gonna look good. <laughs> is that making me take vacations, Jim? I blame you. <laughs> Hi, Jimmy. I miss you. The first vacation you took wasn't my fault. <laughs> How are you, Jimmy? Are you still jet lagged? <laughs> the heck, Tango? Okay, let's see how that looks. Still tired. I don't even know how, but I'm getting back to it. Yeah, to be honest, I'm still tired too. I feel like we're all just tired. Not even jet lag, just tired because that was a lot of, a lot of going. But that was a big vacation. Getting back to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same, as you can see. Trying to force myself to stream. Just feel a little bit empty after doing a big vacation like that. Seeing friends, all the, the highs and lows, all the fun. There weren't really any lows, to be honest. I'm just being dramatic. That looks good. Oh, it looks good. Hi. Hi. <gasps> yes! That's all I have. Is You're the best. You? Your building looks amazing, by the way. Th thank you. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> oh, he's the bestest. I don't have a hoe. I should really make a good hoe. I need one for leaves as well. I only have nine levels though, so not gonna happen right now. This is awesome though, shrimp lights. We can put shroom lights in all of the windows where we aren't going to have an interior so that it glows. Corellis has bushes. Bop and go. Oh, true. I normally use that for healing stuff though. Chat, we've made that look so much better since we've started. 
It feels like we didn't even do that much, but it, it looks like 10,000% better compared to what we started with. Let's fill in that side panel there. That's so creepy! Who is... Who? That is creepy. Is that a horn or is that a person? That's so creepy. <laughs> what is happening? Horn of Tango? I have horns. Keep them in here. It's pretty risky. Don't put that in my mouth. Should we go put these in my underdress? It's weird to have a tango horn going while tango's online. That horn does fit the vibe. I wish I bought that horn so I could have it constantly going off. Hey, this is B dubs. Need to worry about that side quite as much because I'm I think I'm gonna block that corner with a big bush the way that I did right there big old bush but I need to do the terrain first really okay from this side this build looks sick uh, I need to work a little bit on that house there and then I think then I think we need to focus the other side for skins <laughs> it's a slow process but it's getting there I'm proud of us. Yeah, Cub did put a lot of effort into his shop. It's, I very much appreciate it. Okay, what are we doing with this? I'm so bad at these types of structures. Like these type, these edges. Especially since I don't have any depth here to work with. I could add depth, I guess. Window. Yes. Definitely a window. But how? How do we window here? Do we do like a curvy window? Like this kind of one. And then like spruce, probably. But I think my question first is what to do with these edges. Like, do we wanna make them, make it thick? Not super noticeable, but probably fine. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, up there. That's nice. <laughs> is, <laughs> is that a horn? <laughs> that, 
Why? <laughs> that is such a random one. Who is here? Who is horning around? Where is the person? <laughs> My goodness. Is it Cub? Is it Scar? It's definitely Scar, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> X? Isn't X streaming? You guys would know if it was X. I don't know if this is going to look good, by the way. I'm just kind of winging it. Hoping for the best. Let's do this. This is a classic. I love doing that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And another block there. Nope. Uh, there. Think you got quieter? I got quieter? How? I just stopped talking, I think. Okay, that's a really big window. I don't know if that necessarily matches the vibe. Maybe once it, once it has an interior, it'll probably look less awkward, but it is really large. It is almost a mixture between a balcony and a window. I think I could divide it up a little bit. Let's try. It's always going to look really giant and awkward while it's, um... I wish it was thick enough to do this. I love adding divides like this. Is that interesting or stupid? Let's find out. It's a little stupid. You could have an armor stand figure in the window. Yeah, I think once it has an interior, it will make a little bit more sense. I hope, maybe, probably, in theory. Different wood type, yeah, maybe dark oak wood. For now, I'm gonna sit with that um, because I've just thought I think right here. I think I want a like dock or, or just a deck of some form, I suppose. Looks a little blank right in this spot. And means we could also have a door here. So obviously we have we have a lot of work to do on the interior. It's not gonna get done. The interior is not gonna get done in this episode that I'm putting out. But we'll still be able to make progress. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's pretty cool. Nope. That looks good. Video music? You guys recognize video music? I do use this a lot. This is Rocky Heights. I want more of this to be sand to go with the palm trees, but that's already looking so much better. Ow. Green there. So much more detailed on the side. <laughs> the, the gem video music. Of course, of course. I use... There's three songs that I use quite a lot. I don't remember the names of them all, though. I'm happy. This is looking good. Any other hermits online? Yep. B-dubs, Cub, Tango, Zuma. I haven't read out the, the alerts in a while. Let me do that. Uh, Sorry, Sue Gaming, thank you for the 10 months. Too long to read, thank you for the eight months. Unknown, thank you for the biddies. Um, Boom, Bastic, thank you for the prime. Epic, thank you for the 100 bits. I am just Blake, thank you for the two months. Casey, thank you for the, you converted your prime to a tier one, thank you. Soft Legend, thank you for the six months. Um, it's Biff. Thank you for the six months as well. Thoron, thank you for the prime. Blue Astro Sailor, thank you for the 13 months. You got yourself a fish fear me hat and you get so many compliments. That's amazing. I'm so glad. Uh, Danny, thank you for the three months. Casey, thank you for the 10 months. Emerald, thank you. Peter Parker, thank you for gifting the tango. Honey Muffin, thank you. Sea Habits, thank you for 17 months. Oh my goodness. I don't remember where I left off, but... Thank you everybody for the biddies and and all the all the love today. It's amazing. You're amazing. Uh, what did I do with it on this side? I should check before I I covered it up. That's what I did with it on this side. No, it is dark oak. Okay. You used to edit your videos, Premiere Pro. That looks good. So on this side, we have an opportunity to try a different window type. Oh, and I should also make a ton of stairs. Where did I put my crafting table? <laughs> Shoot. Constantly just making crafting tables. Where did I put it? I must have put it somewhere. I'm the worst. You twitch about me sections of social specs of your old PC. Mm. True. By the dock? Is that it? That just looked like skizzes. My bad. Gosh, it's so gross outside today. I want spring. I miss the United States weather. I'll tell you that much. You guys have such good weather compared to here. Newfoundland is the most miserable, windy, wet place on the planet. Ugh. I love every time I go to America, 
I get to wear normal clothes. In Newfoundland, I basically only wear like outdoorsy, super functional clothes. Like I can't actually get into any like cute fashion. Like I can't wear a skirt or a dress. I have to wear like lined pants and then like a, a, a raincoat, not a cute raincoat, like a proper actual outdoorsy raincoat. I want sometimes to just be able to wear like a sweater outside, just a sweater, not have the wind rip it apart. It's, it's so windy here. It's, the, it's never not windy. If you step outside, it, it's 100% chance of wind. Like not, and not just chill wind, like super strong wind. I'm pretty sure St. John's is legitimately one of the top five windiest places on the planet. Not exaggerating real stat. I'm not in St. John's, but still. <laughs> still, it's, it's so windy. I don't even know, I don't even know how to describe it to you guys until you come here and just understand that every time you step outside, it feels like your face is going to get hurt. <laughs> in the fog in Newfoundland, yeah. It is foggy today as well. Could be worse. It could always be worse. I'm still gonna complain though. <laughs> it's not a competition on who is more miserable. It's just uh, I miss wearing clothes. I wanna I wanna put on a t-shirt and go outside and not have it blow around like crazy. It's a simple ask. Permanent winter is what I desire. Oh, I love winter as well. Also very much love winter. I don't like the heat very much. I'm not, I'm not big on super warm places. I don't know what I'm doing here, by the way. I'm just placing blocks and hoping they look good eventually. That looks fine. That honestly looks a bit better than what I did on the other side. That looks good. I think in here we get copper, the copper grates. You get Northern lights, rarely. We're pretty far South. Labrador would get them all the time. else could I be detailing with? Let's make some of these into the copper grates. Only thing nasty in Alaska is the polar bears. Polar bears are pretty rare here. They do exist in Newfoundland. Um, they come in on the ice sometimes, but they're pretty rare. They're not really supposed to come here. I just hate the wind. I like that we don't have any big natural disasters. We don't really get earthquakes. We do get hurricanes. Um, but God, I would love to just go outside <laughs> and not, not have it be windy for once. While we were in America, at some point it was rainy. It was a super like rainy day. And the rain was just falling, like just straight out of the sky. Very heavy rain, but it was just coming down straight and landing on the pavement. It wasn't hitting you in the face. 
you could stand outside on like a covered balcony and look at it and it wasn't assaulting you. It, it was just rain. Here, if it rains, the rain is sideways. Like it, it's hitting you in the face as hard as it can. It, it's so annoying. <laughs> so annoying. You can't use an umbrella here. Like there, I've never owned an umbrella. There is no point. There is literally no point to having an umbrella in Newfoundland. There, I've never been in a scenario where I could use an umbrella and be like, oh yeah, that it'd be a great time to have an umbrella. Never, never. The, <laughs> the umbrella would break. Like in Michigan, if it rained, you could totally use an umbrella. It was just straight. Uh, the things I appreciate when going to America. Hmm. She wouldn't recommend it as a travel destination. Newfoundland's a great travel destination. But you're not gonna get to like dress up and go out to a nice dinner. It's more like you're gonna get to go on a hike and you'd better bring proper clothes for that. But the hike will be really nice. That looks good. I like those grates. You're not selling it to me? Yeah, don't, don't come here for the weather. Definitely don't come here for the weather. <laughs> come here for the outdoor activities. This this needs something and I'm thinking I'm thinking like a banner because this is like the entrance to my base from skiz I'm doing but whatever it is it'll it'll be nice I think hold on I need to get the sheep on cyan again hold on let me switch my sheep I do like using cyan. Hey dude. You wanna eat some grass, please? How cold does it normally get in Newfoundland? Not super cold. The the temperature here is very mild because of the ocean. Doesn't get super cold, doesn't get super hot. Hovers around zero kinda all winter. It can get cold. We've had like cold snaps that get like negative twenty, negative thirty, but on an average day, it gets like negative 10, I would say. It normally hovers around zero. You can't dye them without the wool. Um, it's exactly zero degrees right now, as I'm saying that. So, accurate. <laughs> Celsius, Celsius. That's why I have a heated blanket on. And also because my office is in the basement. So it's just a bit cooler here anyway. Come on, sheep. Oh, the grass isn't grown. Okay, come on, grass. Please. No, it's not bad. But you remember what I said about the wind? It does the same thing the snow. It's, not, it's really not bad temperature-wise. Like, if you hear the temperatures here, you're, you'd be like, oh yeah, that's fine. That's totally doable. But it's crazy humid. There's almost always precipitation. There's almost always fog. And there's almost always a crazy wind. 
So it's not really about the temperature itself. <laughs> it's, it's more the, the wet and the wind that really make the difference. Now we're just waiting for the grass to grow. This is entertaining stream. You're welcome. Let me open up Twitch again. <laughs> Doxy, thank you for the prime. All right, dude, I'm not waiting on you. I'll just put that there. Put the redstone there. Put that there. I'll reconstruct it when it's uh, when the grass grows. You know what? Maybe prismarine would be better. I don't think I have very much prismarine though, if any. I bet Green has some. He's not online. I've gotten good at stealing from Green. saw walls. I'm not seeing anything blue. I'm not trying Scar. <laughs> I, draw, I draw the line at Grian. <laughs> I won't go through two chest monsters. <laughs> Let's see. Mm, see lanterns, nah. Didn't Scar just build a storage system? Do you, do you, is that storage system organized right now in this moment? Did he actually sort out that chest monster? Did he actually? Cause, have you met Scar? Tell you what, I have. I think the odds of that being organized right now are are low. <laughs> low chances. I think he'll do it, but I haven't seen him online for like long enough yet to have com possibly completed that. Honestly, that looks fine. Look at my head. I told Scar yesterday, or not Scar, Skiz yesterday, that he needs to connect up this path. I'm passing it off to him. I'm not going any further than this with my decorating, so. It's on Skiz. The horse does seem like it has a quest. <laughs> that horse seems to have a quest for you. <laughs> That's good. It does it, it does give that vibe, doesn't it? With the arrow over it. Thanks for moderating, Oxy. Is that Skiz's mailbox? Tis, yeah. We're just taking over Skiz's area. Cute. 
I feel pretty good about this. Still needs work, but it's definitely good enough for a thumbnail. Also, this doesn't look too bad. It's definitely good enough for a thumbnail, and we'll do the interior on another stream. Good job, chat. We did it. We did some detailing. I feel like I want, where were those shroom lights that Tango gave me? Let's put them up in the top. Where'd I put them? Oh, why am I like this? Oh no, oh right there. That's gonna look nice with shaders on. I'm gonna do it, the shaders. Mm, let's see if I can crash my PC. Oh, I like, I need to cut down this tree. Sun is not in a great spot right now. I like it though. It's definitely giving the vibe that I want. We get some glowy eyes and that skull and some more moss and fix up the terrain. Do all the terrain along here, get rid of this podzel and stuff. It's gonna look sick. It's gonna take a long time to get there, but it's gonna look sick, I think. Yeah, and the side facing skiz doesn't look too bad. That's good. Got a lot of cleanup to do. I like it. Good job, chat. We were productive today. And actually, my PC handled that really well. I think you'll change the grass to something else. It'll be mixed with moss, I think, but it's going to stay green. Maybe there'll be spots where it's dead. Looks so different with shaders. It does. It looks bright and cheery without them. I still love it, though. Get rid of the sniffers. I'm gonna move the sniffers. I wanna do a proper house for the sniffers. So I really like them. They add to the vibe, I think. Dark oak. Spruce. Oak. Spruce. Spruce, hello, LA. LA just wants to be my friend. <laughs> Gotta find a place for the LA to go as well. Uh, Blackstone, deep slate, chains. I didn't use chains. I probably should have. We should. We shall have another detailing session probably, and do a once over and add stuff like chains and hanging signs and lanterns. We definitely need some lanterns in there. Your fight club still in the works? Yep. I didn't work on it this episode because I think I want to wait till jo Joel's back. 
But yeah, it, it's still it's still on my mind. I'm still thinking about it. Oh, I have so much stuff. I'm gonna put my warp wood in there. I'm sure that's gonna make some of you mad, but in my brain, it goes there. So I, I don't normally use it without using a different cyan with it. How do you feel about people cosplaying your characters? It's fine, it's good, it's cool. It's very cool. I see a lot of cool cosplays. I've seen some in real life as well at, at TwitchCon and it was super awesome. I'm not happy with that window yet, but I'm happy with the rest of it. T Did I <laughs> complete the quest or? <laughs> incredible <laughs> I should go talk to that horse I guess <laughs> need to claim my reward yeah that's true I uh, don't have room for that let's just start putting it in there that's so funny. Click through on the client side for the item frames. I don't even know what you're talking about. Click through, like click through the item frames. I'm definitely not using it right now. Whew, I've cleaned up. It's like I was never here. Nailed it. Ready for a thumbnail. Now a bridge, yeah. I don't want to commit to a bridge before I do the terrain. I'm I'm changing all this terrain. None of the hermits have a sort inventory mod. I don't like having too many mods. I don't even have like the shulker ones that a lot of people have. I just like it vanilla. I like the game to be very vanilla with this though okay I think that's a wrap chat I think we did it let me read out more things uh Katie Kins, thank you for the prime and Create <laughs> rat. I'm not sure how to say that. Thank you for the prime. Sander, thank you for the prime. Zarlak, thank you for the hundred bits. Borrow from impulse, at least there's no chest stir. That Zarlak, that is exactly why I do normally borrow for Im from impulse. Uh gaming, thank you for the ten months. I think I'm I think I'm getting caught up. I think I'm caught up. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, I'm caught up on a ton of these. Okay, perfect. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Oh, Hander, thank you for the 100 bits. And, uh, Cyric LaCroix, thank you for the 
500 bits. Oh my goodness. Wow. Thanks for detailing my build with me, everybody. This was fun. We got a lot done. I'm really happy with how this whole base is going. Very happy. First time catching your stream. Glad to be here. Welcome in. I'm so glad you could be here. I'm so glad all of you could be here. I love uh, that I'm getting back into streaming a little bit now. This is fun. All right, we were productive today. Today was a lot of spoilers. Uh, you better all still watch the video when I post it. I might post tomorrow. I might post tomorrow. I'll see, I'll see. We did get a lot done today, so I could probably post tomorrow. 